farmer Dre back at it. Today's another beautiful day here on the farm. I actually just got out of class and uh, got out of, out of class driving and I figured today I would uh, start, filming, start filming some stuff. So I just turned the irrigation on the high tunnels and uh, I gotta go and load my dad. He just got home for, with some more cantaloupe and watermelon. So I gotta go and do that and then we gotta do some work in the shop. So that's the plan for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If, if you guys have any questions or comments about the video, leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Come, come to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And uh, you guys stay tuned for today's video. I'm just out here getting some stuff done where we gotta finish the blackberry trellis today. First thing is first, I need to uh, put the power forks on the skid loader. I don't know why this is out here. You probably greased it up or something. Dumb pin broke, that's a problem. How in the world does that happen? What? Anyways, I'm not gonna latch it anyway, so I gotta still unload the truck. Hmm, the pin. Just snapped here. I have no idea. Probably Val. He's the one that did this all. Ah, kids. Go ahead and just set this over here in the shop for now. And uh, jump in the skid steer. Yep, these still work. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump in that. And connect the power forks. This first one here, just the one that one's broken. I don't know what happened there, but we'll see how I can unload this with one unlashed broken pin here. So, So the corn needs to go in the cooler and they bought some uh, watermelons, cantaloupes and the corn that's got to go in the cooler. Get the pal jack, put the melons, these are melons from last week still, we got to still put away and that's that. Alrighty, so an hour has passed now and I got to turn off the irrigation. I always put a timer on my phone because if not, I get busy and forget. So I let the irrigation run for an hour exactly in both tunnels. And then uh, just come turn off the water here at the hydrant. Uh, and the next few, whenever we get the, um, this high tunnel done with the purlings and everything, and before we build the end wall, like on this one right here, we gotta, we're going to pull uh, the electrical and water we're gonna put a hydrant in every single high tunnel because we got the main line coming from from our uh, from the well there coming straight to this hydrant right here just connected so what we're gonna do here is just dig from around the hydrant and then make a just tee it off and come through it every single high tunnel here and uh, make sure put a put a hydrant in everyone put an electrical box so we don't have an extension cord like this one right here the main fan is running but we got extension cords running all over the place and it's just it becomes a mess so 
that's the plan whenever we get this one done but i just started doing this and uh never got finished so it's just you know gotta gotta have time and first the first things on the list is blackberries and then the strawberries which i'm gonna have to actually explain in a bit and i'm gonna make a whole video on that we ordered 10,000 strawberry plants and we're gonna plant them in the for the 5th of september gotta get the soil ready laying down black plastic drip tape all that good stuff but first we gotta do some work but first on the list is blackberries so i'm gonna go in the shop now and work on the trellis arms and like have i have been doing drill them all and then get them all welded and uh just get it done and on this high tunnel here i gotta come through and pick some more tomatoes probably friday morning because you guys see here they're the ones that have already bloomed are sent to set, starting to set fruit here so just look at that you know good stuff right there a lot more tomatoes coming on now so just gorgeous gorgeous not as many as they were uh as they were previously but there's, there sure are a lot of them coming on now so heading in the shop and start doing some more metal work Alrighty, so I'm guessing Val came in here yesterday and finished all the big ones because there's no more on that pallet over there and he welded some more but now I gotta drill all these small ones here and he told me to move something over but I don't see why because that's perfectly center right there and I don't I'm just gonna leave it as is I mean it is center it's an inch off then it's center, center of that one so I'm just gonna leave like that and start drilling here so yeah hopefully uh, by tonight or tomorrow morning we get all these welded and stuff or at least by tomorrow afternoon so that we could um, get them out there and I'm hoping by tomorrow night we could beat them all in the ground and then Friday I'll go in through and uh, we'll pull the wires and stuff that's the plan but I'm hoping to get at least you know halfway or three quarters done by the end of this week if not next week it is so it's just gotta go 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 non-stop until we get it done so gotta finish drilling here real quick and probably take me until a darker finish all done there's 200 arms in total so i mean i don't know it just takes a while to get it done Alrighty. so what we do here is just a quick little process i make sure it's always square about every five or six one that i do that's nice and square like that so you just come through and it, these ones seem to drill a lot easier than um the big ones and a lot easier to handle so i can do a lot more and they go pretty quick so it's just i'm getting getting it done Hopefully another couple hours shall be done pretty quick here. So it's just a matter of you know just holding the press down and getting it done. So it's a matter of waiting now. It's just not a very hard job. It's just standing up and doing it. So don't want to put too much pressure so it won't get stuck. And then we will. Uh, there we go nice and close and then this is, these are the bolts we're using right here perfect size and go through there and uh, get it done so it's just continue like this grab from here and just like that getting it done so i've been at it for a while now and uh getting pretty close to done here those are the ones all i have left and it's just the same old job over and over again it keeps it it came dark outside now and it's currently 9 41 so i'm gonna work in here till uh till i get done here on these small ones then tomorrow i gotta be in class at l10 and after that i'm off for the rest of the day so i'm gonna come home and hopefully start beating these in the ground at the blackberries when i get back from home around noon and until dark work on the blackberries hopefully get the trellis up or at least some of it and I, I've been thinking about just putting up a few wires or just one or two wires kind of to pick up the berries that are, are on the ground already. And then, uh, you know, tie them up and then go through and mow it and then uh, weed kill it. And then whenever we get done completely with all the other trellises and the trellis arms the next couple of weeks, we'll fin completely finish it up. So, you know, it's just a matter of uh, thinking about it. And, you know, it's a lot, it takes, it's taking a lot longer than we, we expected to actually get it done since we started school. and. Val's busy we're all busy just on on the side and this should have been done right after planting but we didn't have the design made and it's just it just got complicated after that so you know the good thing is that the plants are growing and uh, they're ready for next year so we just got to get the weeds under control and uh, you know get them all ready to go so it's just a matter of doing it now and hopefully in the next couple of days we'll have at least some trellis arms up and uh, making it work Alrighty, so this is the last bar of the day. Let me go ahead and start drilling through here. 
did 200, got all those done there. And just slowly getting it done. Drill bit's kind of dull, so I gotta press a little harder, but after doing 200, it kind of expect it to be dull. So, almost there, Get the other one here on the bottom. one of the day getting stuff done so now I gotta take these pick these up just like that drop some on my foot that's it we're done yeah that is gonna be done for tonight Probably gonna be out here in the morning and uh, start welding and then tomorrow afternoon when I get back from school. The plan is to come and start putting them in. But Val is gonna come and weld these in the morning and we'll see. So, kind of happy it is uh, 11, uh, let's see the time here, 11.05. So, stayed up out here pretty late, but we got it done. So all of them are drilled now. We just gotta weld the clips and they're good to go. So, that's gonna happen tomorrow. So we'll. Have to live and see until tomorrow, see what we can do exactly. So Val's been in the shop here all morning. We're rolling out the bottom of this, the clips there. And um, we're gonna, I'm going to have to start installing them on the, he started one of the small ones there. These are the ones that are uh, the bottoms. I'm going to start installing them. And we're going to get them installed right here. And then we're going to go in the, as, we're going to probably get 10 or 12 done today. And start bending them in there. So it's just, we're, the plan is to get, get a few rows done today. Beat them in the ground, start beating them now so you can know exactly how fast it goes. And then we're gonna continue uh, welding. When it gets dark, we're gonna continue welding those. And then continue laying them out there and tying up the plants. We just bought the clips, the little clips that go to Blackberry. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do all that stuff. So, plan is right now is to finish doing this stuff and you'll get it hooked up for us. Alrighty, y'all, that is gonna be pretty much it for today. We're gonna finish the trellis arms in here in the shop. And then I'm going to probably start recording for tomorrow's video of how we're going to set them out there. And then, um, like I promised you guys, uh, tomorrow's video, I'm probably going to do a, um, you know, the five equipment you need to actually have an orchard, a successful orchard, you need to start an orchard. So that's the plan. But for today, we're going to continue doing all that good stuff. So I want to say um, thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification bell. Come to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, tu Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I want to say thanks for watching once again. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.